Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for November for the Sun or the Ascendant. The most extraordinary development occurs this month when Jupiter, the planet of growth, of optimism, of good fortune, returns to your sign which it governs for the first time in 12 years. Now Jupiter presents us with opportunities, but it doesn't gift them into our laps. It is important for us to grasp those opportunities and find the spark of motivation to make them work for us. So it's a dual process. It's not just what we get from the heavens, it's how we work with it. But Jupiter does give you the chance to be much more go-getting in the next 13 months from the 9th of this month. It really is great to tell you about this. I think it's going to be very revitalising for you. But there's no doubt about it. The Sun does spend two-thirds of this month in the same area that Jupiter's been for the last year, which is more inward, more complex, more introspective. You are a go-getting, enthusiastic person generally, which comes from Jupiter. But what's less well-known is that you also have that more philosophical, more spiritual side of your nature. And that's still going to be boosted strongly this month, particularly on the back of the new moon, which occurs on the 7th and forges a beautiful angle to Neptune. This is really asking you to extend a much more sensitive way of, of interacting with life. Sometimes you just want to move on to the next really exciting, upbeat and breezy opportunity. This new moon is asking you not to do that. It's asking you to really check out what comes up from deep within your being. You may find yourself reading poetry. If you're interested in watching movies, it can be a great time to watch some real sentimental films. Perhaps with the run-up to Christmas, you might, might want to take in some classics of that, that kind. Or it may be that you will engage with more meditative strands. Anything which expands your consciousness, not necessarily in a physical way, can be really positive for you this month. What's also really positive is that Venus, which has been in the deep freeze when it comes to affection for much of October, moves into a jollier and friendlier location as this month begins, but it's still in retrograde. If there has been a breakdown in a relationship or a lack of trust, or someone's not been coming up to scratch, it may be the middle of the month before this is resolved, but there's also the possibility, if you're single, with Uranus moving back into Aries, your sister fire sign, on the 7th too, and forging a great link by the end of that week with Mars, that you can have a spark of attraction to someone. It can be a, an excitement around moving into something new and fresh. And welcome that in, but listen to your sixth sense to guide you whether it's the right opportunity or not. Jupiter then arrives with you on the ninth. As I say, 13 glorious months. I'll be telling you more about this as time goes on. But remember, Jupiter presents you with the opportunity, but not the finished item. You have to add your perspiration and application, and you can do so with great conviction and success over that period of time, should you choose to do so. Now, at the heart of this month, from the 9th to the 19th, Mercury, in your sign, forges a really murky angle to Neptune. And I think this is going to be probably the most challenging influence of this whole month. It's repeated in the last week of November too. Now, Neptune's been in an area of your emotions since 2012, and it's probably not been easy all of the time, uh, and probably at times seen you lacking motivation, perhaps a bit confused about what you really want. There may have been strains around the family. There may have been a lot of opportunities to develop who you are in terms of your spiritual growth, but not in quite the dynamic way that you're used to. But this angle with Mercury suggests that an idea that is important to you can really get bogged down in the, the, well, the last two-thirds, isn't it, from the ninth to the end of the month. So just be aware that your thinking could be a bit confused. There's something that you might want to do, then you can change your mind. Or conditions seem to ebb against you. You don't seem to have the spark consistently that you would like, despite Jupiter's arrival. So this month is going to present some challenges. 
What does help you hugely, without doubt, is the fact that there is the arrival of the Sun in your sign on the 22nd. Now that's going to give you more physical vitality, along with Jupiter. Mercury's already there, but Mercury's then backtracking. But then by the 24th, Mars, which moves into your sector of emotion mid-month too, well that's clashing with the full moon and the Sun in the last week of this month too. Now that can create a lot of frustration. It's possible that someone close to you could be a bit of a killjoy about some of your individual ideas and plans. Maybe it's a partner, maybe it's a housemate, maybe it's someone in the family, maybe it's someone who's normally quite encouraging, may pour cold water on some of your enthusiasms. But sometimes we have to be very single-minded and clear about our objectives and sweep away any objections that we encounter. But the injection, objections you encounter could be really quite bizarre. Anything to do with water, you might smile when I tell you this, but you may find that anything to do with water could have an impact on your drive to achieve things, whether it's the central heater not working quite as well as you would like, or maybe you're using a dehumidifier and it breaks down, or maybe someone's grossly emotional to just a very logical plan that you feel very motivated by and gets very upset and weepy when you're just trying to drive it on. All of this is possible, ironically, as this month comes to a close. Or if you'd like to live by water, your plan to do so may be checked in some way or may require a great deal of patience. All all of us can do with Mercury and Neptune in a square is get the facts right. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't let things work into your emotions without being really sure in a more logical way about what's really going on. When Venus starts to go forward from the middle of the month, it's really going to help your social and also romantic prospects no end. And I think generally you're going to feel a lot brighter from the end of this month. It's just there are going to be those surprising limitations. And if you anticipate them, well, your general forbearance, which can be extraordinarily strong at the best of times, is just going to kick in and you just will refuse to be defeated. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for all the kind comments and suggestions regarding my rheumatoid arthritis. It's so kind and it means so much. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. Or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card Money or Love Tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.